Hey everybody, um, my cat is wanting <laughs> some attention, so if you can hear him, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I just want to do <laughs> a 24-hour update. <laughs> um, it's, yesterday was a crazy day. Um, I, as you know, if you're seeing this again, um, I shared the video with, um, some very close people that have supported me, some for the entire 20 years. Um, and, um, had a lot of voice phone calls, um, messages and such. And, um, it was very overwhelming and I swore I wasn't going to cry in this video, but apparently I am again. Um, so, um, the love and support was very much appreciated and very much, um, received and um yeah uh anyway um i uh, i'm still overwhelmed still in shock still speechless here and there um it um I've done something I haven't done um, since posting the videos is I went back and watched the first four of my videos and I am one of the people that um, a fair amount of bad stuff has happened to from my health, from not being able to transition and different stuff like that. And I very much prided myself on trying my best not to let that get me down and discourage me. but. It happens from time to time. Earlier this year, being a key time when it was getting overwhelming again. And so, um, I went back and watched those videos and it was just really random that, um, I started this whole process of recording all this just six months ago or so. And had no idea this is where this was going to take me at all at all and so it's just um I've always believed that things happen for a reason whether you know why or not and also something that I was talking about with my girlfriend yesterday was um just this year alone even though I've been battling my depression and anxiety quite a bit more than I had in a while I do fully believe that this son of a <laughs> and for whatever reason this is the time that I was supposed to transition whatever reason that is and part of that is I think I can mentally handle it better than I probably could have before because as the years have progressed I have stuck up for myself better I have you know I still have trouble correcting people because of how I sound and how I look so I haven't really, but I've lived male for a very long time as much as I can. And I know who I am and I have for a long time and I've been sticking up for that more and more. So I think I needed to go through that. Not to make sure that I'm trans. I, there's no doubt that I am. But for whatever reason, I needed to go through that to get mentally tougher. Just probably for whatever changes are coming. And to get better acquainted with myself, I guess. Still don't know exactly. I may never know, but, you know, it's been a rough 20 years, hell, 38 years, um, because with talking to someone else yesterday, I've always been trans. I might have known at 18, but there were many clues in my childhood <laughs> that I was not just a tomboy or just going to be a gay woman. It there were clues and we all assumed it was just because I was raised predominantly by men that that's how I was going to, that's why I turned out the way I turned out. No, it's always been there. It's, this has always been who I am. <laughs> but... 
the overwhelming joy <laughs> of getting to finally become that person and be more of who I was meant to be is still... <laughs> Still a lot to take in. <laughs> I've been fine. <laughs> Except for talking when when talking with a few people I've teared up here and there and when telling some people that I've gotten into face to face, but when I sit and process it all and start talking about it. Cause the title of the last video was true. I never thought. I really, really honestly never thought. <laughs> that I would find this path. I really never did. And I think that's what's caused the the stress and depression and anxiety of the beginning of this year, too, was because I had this weird random goal of before I turned 40 or not at all stuck in my head and I don't know where that came from or when that came in and so I guess even though like I said I still have more than two years before I turn 40 like I have plenty of time even if and not saying that I can't transition after 40 I just I don't know where I got that stuck in my head I guess I just thought if it didn't happen by then that it wouldn't happen I really don't know but that whatever made that click in my brain has been my detriment um so I kind of want to post this and share this for those that are stuck and feel like they're never going to be who, who they're supposed to be don't give up <laughs> seriously seriously um and there were many times that I did that I didn't pursue this for years at a time. Um, for many reasons that, like I discussed yesterday. Um, no one's going to love you as much as you can love yourself. No one's going to put you first more than you can put yourself first. And so whatever clicked last year to get me to try harder and to start all of this. Um, I'm glad I did. I'm really glad I did. And I'm really glad that I've been pushed mentally to start this. I'm really glad. I'm really glad that I have this to look back on. And to have all this chronicled for myself. Like I said, if I can help one person, that's great. But the person this has helped the most is myself. And that's all I can do right now is help myself. And I've done that. And for a lot of people, that's a really hard goal to achieve. And it took me a long time. Uh, when it comes to other parts of my health, I've put it first and I've done what I needed to do. But for this, I didn't. And, um... I'm at peace with myself for that. Like, I know what I've been through and I know why. And I know that it was because of other people at times, but I let myself do that because I wasn't ready. Like, I was ready, but for some reason I wasn't. And that's okay. I can forgive myself for that because I'm here now and I'm doing what I need to do. That's all I can do. So, that's my 24 hour update. <laughs> I'm still a mess, apparently. <laughs> and I'm gonna be for a while. Because before the end of this month, very soon, I have my first appointment. Um, I'm not putting the official date in the videos, um, just for personal reasons. Um, because of other health reasons and stuff, I know not to, you know, count on things happening um, from just plans I have to cancel because I don't feel good and this, that, and the other. And March in the Midwest is a 
bitch. <laughs> there might be a, a weather reason I have to cancel this appointment. Gah. But <laughs> it went from 70 degrees to 30 degrees to snowing in one day here um, just this week. <laughs> so, and I do, like I said, I do have to travel about, you know, a little less than three hours um, to get there. So, there's still things that can happen. So I don't want to be like, oh, this is the day. So um, a lot of people won't know until after it's done and over with. I'm being shady. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just, my brain's all over the place. I didn't plan on a 10 minute plus video. Um, so this is where I'm at. This is what's going on. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy and I'm, um, I'm just waiting. I've waited this long. <laughs> I thought I was going to wait another two months. And she was like, no, you can be in on this day. I still can't. <laughs> How easy the conversation was after so many bad conversations yesterday is still. And when I tell the story every time, everybody's like, like what? I'm like, yeah, yeah, that, it was just, yeah. Okay, <laughs> here you go. <laughs> this is what happy and shock <laughs> all look like in one stupidly long video. <laughs> I can't even. I don't even know if any of this made sense. But thank you again to everyone. Um, <laughs> um, <clears throat> thank you. That's... Thank you and thank you for watching and I will do more updates as they come and more randomness, 12 minute <laughs> stupidness. If you can put up with this, you can put up with anything. <laughs> thank you all again and I will talk to you soon.